time for another test drive. We got a 1980 Pontiac Turbo Trans Am here. It's got the 4.9 turbo under the hood. Power steering, power brakes. Absolutely love this car myself. You know, white looks so good on a muscle car. Uh, aftermarket set of wheels, which look amazing on this one. Interior is white as well. It matches full test drive coming your way. I'm picking out flaws all day long on these cars for you. So you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, financing and shipping is available. Go to maplemotors.com. Be sure to hit subscribe. I post these videos every single day. And that helps me out quite a bit. All right, guys. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we take off, look around the interior and place those beds. Do you think the horn works? Dash on this one. I love the dash. Console. Glove box. The interior is pretty sweet. Got the T-tops out and they are in great shape. We'll start this one up and pull out of the showroom. Okay, we're gonna try some stuff. Wipers. Looks like they work. And we're gonna go ahead and try our turn signals. See if they pop up on the dash. I can see it, it's dim. That side is not doing a thing. Oil pressure's up, she's on 40, engine temperature's still cold. Show you the mileage. We've got gas and we are charging. Go ahead and turn the uh, blower motor on. Nope, blower motor. Let's try it again. Needs help. Radio. <laughs> Alright, radio works. Winders are good. Horn, did you place your bets? Let's try it out. Does work. Tack. Clock even worked. Time to hit the road. See how it runs and drives. Okay, guys, we're gonna head out. This is my first time driving this vehicle. Let's see what we can find. As we're going down the road, she is straight as an arrow with nice tight steering. Hitting the brakes, not pulling, just super smooth, back in the throttle. A little bit of a hesitation when I put her to the floor there. She's pulling good. What about do it again? Good deal. Making her brakes nice and smooth. All right. Speedo's not working on this one, so the mileage will never change. what's next we're gonna light up the undercarriage then we're gonna end with picking out the flaws chips scratches rust dents if anything's wrong you'll know about it all right <clears throat> you hear that turbo it's pretty quiet Good thing is everything's nice and smooth. You got tight steering. The brakes are great. Just super smooth there. Get back into the throttle here. That decent pickup. And it is shifting good. Let's get pulled in here and get these outside shots.
craziest thing just happened. This girl in front of me had an SUV and the, the back hatch was open and all kinds of stuff was in the back. Everything falls out in the road. Glass goes everywhere. I should have had it on film. But I, instead, I was like, I'll stop and help her. She took off. She left it all over the road. It was scattered everywhere. There's glass everywhere. So, knew what to do. I was like, I got to clean it up. <clears throat> A really heavy traffic road back here started cleaning it up and the cop pulled up and he's like did you make a mess i was like this isn't my mess i said some girl in front of me did it he, me and him both kicking glass off the side of the road piled everything up that's why i'm all sweaty now so too bad i didn't get that on video <laughs> but undercarriage shots coming your way No, I was sitting here thinking. It's been a good 30 minutes since that girl dumped all that stuff on the ground. And it's all wedding stuff. Well, my buddy is getting ready to have a wedding in two weeks. If it's still back there and she abandoned it and it just scattered the road like that, I'm going to pick it up and donate it to his wedding. Otherwise, it'll probably get rained on because rain's moving in today. And it looks like old wedding stuff, like they used it for a wedding already, so. They would be happy to have some free wedding decor and supplies. Let's go see if it's still there. Guys, on this car, I'm not too worried about it. We've got great oil pressure. I'm sitting here looking at awesome engine temperature. Slow down there, I'm trying to turn. What are you doing, homie? <laughs> He's supposed to wait. Well, let's see if it's still here. Oh, somebody picked it up. It was either them or somebody else. It was a good idea. Still a bunch of glass over there on that side of the road. Hopefully the rightful owners came back and picked it up. But it was a good thought. Always thinking of your buddies, right? <laughs> I'm going to get on this side of the road because that side where we kicked all that glass. Good deal. Well, somebody got it. We're heading on back to the lot. Getting in that throttle. Nice smooth power. Pulling good. And guys, it's like a hundred degrees today. So our engine temperature is staying nice and cool, and I haven't had any issues. If it's gonna overheat, it would overheat it on me, making all these outside shots. I've been gone for at least 30 minutes, maybe, well, let's say more like 45 minutes for the whole segment here. But I've had a good drive. I've got two more test drives to do today. 
127. I think I got this as long as the rain holds out. And then I'm gone for the weekend. So if you come up on the first, I won't be here. I'll be across the country. That same guy that's having his wedding, I'm going to his bachelor party. So be fun. He asked me the other day to be his best man. I'm all pumped about that. Bumping the road here. Pretty smooth, a little bumpy in the back. They should drive off in this car. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Have the cans rattling in the back. He used to have long hair. He rides for Harley. If you ever seen the Harley Davidson video that I put out, that's that guy. I sell the bike for the wedding, man. <laughs> Picking out the flaws is coming up next. Chips, scratches, rust dead. So stick around for that. And I'll see you in a moment. We're gonna walk this ride. Anything I find you'll know about it. Chip scratches, rust, and dent starting up in the front here. A little spot here, like cracks. Touch up mark. Chips up top. When you get close up, you can tell it's been painted a little while. Some of the little cracks are coming up. there and I'm zooming in all this stuff because you can't see it if I stand back here I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people go like yeah it's a nice car and they don't show they're just grazing by they'll kind of get a little close make you feel like you see everything no you won't I zoom in on it check it but little pin striking flaws there at the bottom here as well we're actually gonna go below and see if that thing's cracked up <laughs> seem to be. Then we're going to go down the side here. March. Got a little dirt on it. I'll tell you what, let's hit all the lower spots. All the way around the car first. Then we'll come back that midsection. Tail lights look great. The gas cap goes in. What you're hearing this whole video is a fan that I got on me and it's blowing up my shirt and it's keeping me dry and cooling me off. So if you want to pick that up, you can buy one of these on Amazon and I got the Amazon link for you. Pretty cool. Sucks air from the bottom, blows it straight up my shirt. I got a link below down the side you got a little bit of dirt on the side there and you've got touch-up marks light chips little spot there and a little bit more dirt we'll get kicked up from the test drive stickers kind of peeling off there Right there above the handle. That's that touch up mark I showed you. Back window is clean. The T tops are also in really good shape. Those there come off. 
<coughs> Front window, that little scuff here. We'll hit this passenger side and then we'll check out the trunk. Little spots there, they'll come out. That spot there in the corner looks like some dirt got caught. That window's nice. Chip there. Coming on back to the trunk. The seal around the trunk. Pretty clean. Down in the trunk. It's got a fabric stuck to it where some where the, the mat was glued down at one point. Looks like it has a little moisture in here too. So it's a little wet. So she does leak. Your package tray is solid, guys. It is very solid. It smells like a brand new tennis shoe in here. <laughs> Come on down with the trunk lid. on the edge. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out of the showroom here. And we'll start it up and then check out the interior. So we'll go ahead and get outside away from these drills. She starts up good. <laughs> see the back panels are not in the best shape ever they uh, are crumbling a little bit from age in the back window too there's little trim pieces around the edge oh well, hopefully that didn't fall falling off the doors you can see a little bit of a hazy mark there and you got some imperfections here on the side looking down in the floorboard pretty good you've got some imperfections on your ashtray there little cracks okay let's go ahead and jump out
Me personally, I actually love this car. Seals are a little bit cracked up, but I mean, they're soft still. They're not dried out at all. Look at them. down with our hood Guys, detailed pictures, financing and shipping is available on this one. Go to maplemotors.com, check it out. Those descriptions are full of useful information. And of course, hit subscribe and share this video. I'm going to roll out of here. Appreciate you watching.